Carrie Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. Okay, so today I'm talking about something that's so exciting, you're just going to die. So we're talking hashtags, guys. Um, I adore hashtags. I find them to be super helpful in um, being discovered. Um, so this is the video about why to use hashtags and I also find them super helpful for discovering things to post and I'll show you a little bit about that too. So um, keep your peepers open because uh, after I do this one I'm going to do out how to do them um, in case you don't know. So anyways uh, let's start with Twitter because Twitter is the home of the hashtag and a hashtag is really easy. It's just putting <coughs> that um, pound sign before you put a specific set of words so like I'm looking for am writing and this is a, um, a, a hashtags for authors video so this is going to be this is saying I am writing or it's about writers things like that you might put um, a mystery if you're a mystery writer um, you may put fiction or nonfiction um there you go so there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff that you can do and and then what happens also you guys so don't forget you're going to put hashtags in so that people can find you so see all these things that come up new york fiction things like that so let's actually do a search for um writing okay so writing that's generic that could be blogging that could be novels that could be authoring things like that and what happens is people who know about these things and who know to look for uh writing there's a number of reasons why you want to do this okay so look this is a um this is a quote that i would definitely share and this is from uh, uh john somebody who does advice to writers. So what's going to happen with John is this has been shared, retweeted 69 times. It's been favorited 91. And that's one of the reasons why it's coming up, right? So um, Twitter's algorithm is saying that this is a really cool thing. People seem to like it, blah, blah, blah. But I would never have been able to find this with unless he had put that hashtag right here, writing, okay? So that's very cool. I'll retweet it since he's in my uh, video. John, whoever you are, nice to see you. Um, okay, so so that is kind of why to do it in Twitter. There's a lot of things. The other half of it is that um, Twitter, because it's open source, meaning that um, a lot of people can uh, do development things for it, tends to have a lot of really cool um, gizmos that go around. So one of the gizmos is that um, you can look up uh, and create papers, paperly, I'll put that in the, uh, in the uh, show notes, um, that there's paperly and you can, you can set up a newspaper that is based on a hashtag so these tend to be on my my um, list but you could you could absolutely do it based on edit like a um you know a a hashtag so pound um and this is interesting people so it wouldn't be good for that one but um like you could do it as for my book marketing one or something like that um you could do it you know am writing or if you're going to be very specific i'm getting ready right now to set up some that are going to be like based on pound fiction mystery, pound fiction um, uh, fantasy, pound fiction science fiction. Um, and that will help you to, here I'll show you real quick, pound fiction. So this is saying it has to have that hashtag fiction and then we're going to say fantasy. So that'll pull up things that are... Um, fiction writers maybe so he's probably a fiction writer let's see if we can figure out why this is here best-selling uk author of science fic fiction epic fantasy and paranormal mysteries uh kevin so he's excellent and he must have those kinds of keywords he has 118,000 followers that's wonderful um so obviously he's a pretty it seems like he's probably a pretty um pretty good pretty good fiction writer 
Um, so let's see. I think I have authors under artists. Um, so yeah. So we'll put them in there. Because I like artists. I like all my art people. Um, okay, so that's that's how that works. So then you would do a paperly with those hashtags. And you can include multiple hashtags. Facebook also uses um, hashtags. Uh, so when you do a search, you're going to do am rating. Okay, so if you pick this first one, you're just going to get all of the, um, you know, that community. Um, but if you put a space after it, you're going to be able to do search for am writing. And this is going to bring up anybody who has had a post recently with that hashtag in it, which is very, very cool. So you're going to get all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, workshop on being a writer, uh, book signing by this um, author and things like that. So, um, and this is, this is my self-publishing podcast, guys. Um, so see, they have this. Um, this hashtag am writing in here. Now, I will say that a lot of people do not know how to use hashtags, and that's fine. They're not really searching that way. But the people who do use hashtags, why wouldn't you want to show up in that search? I mean, this is really a no-brainer. You put your normal post in, and then you have a couple of hashtags. And I will have, you know, like I said, um, this is going to go with a post with a huge list of hashtags for writers. Um, but I'll also have like a little handout sheet. I might not have it on the first day, but I will have a handout sheet because you can't see it. But I have right to the side a whole list of hashtags that I'm um, that I use when I do my uh, social media posting. All right, Pinterest. So uh, I did a search for fiction writer, and I found the coolest stuff. So how to edit yourself into print. Twenty five things about creating characters. Um, characters that people get wrong, how to do fight scenes. So this is more about how to write. So if I was, you know, if I was um, trying to figure out, you know, 25 things about creating stories, outlines, things like that. Now I do marketing. Um, so, okay, so I do marketing and I um, am trying to, I'm going to be starting a hashtag that's called selling fiction. And that's going to be my own hashtag. And I will tell you that it will not be, um, at least to start, people want to do their own hashtags all the time. And it doesn't work. Because to get that adoption of hashtags, you have to have big exposure. So let's see on Twitter if anybody's doing it. Pound selling fiction. So one person. Okay. So one person is doing it. So I'm making that my own. And that's fine. He's doing it. He's not hurting me. Um, but I'm going to have selling fiction and selling nonfiction as two hashtags. Now, a couple things that that will do. A, it'll allow me to find all my stuff, right? Um, and B, it will um, eventually, if people start seeing that, they'll be able to see that all my posts that have that hashtag most times. So look at this. This is what's really cool. Um, and I know it works here. So if you click on this, so now we want to see self-publishing, it'll pull up all the things related to self-publishing. And you'll be able to see um, communities you can join, pages you could like. There's Sean, um, Sterling and Stone. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of reasons. Well, that's kind of fun. He's totally fun. Okay, so there's there's a whole bunch of reasons to do this. This is one of my posts. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's not overly done. So it's a, still a really good way to do, um, to get exposure that you wouldn't normally get. Okay, so now the one thing that I truly adore is in Google+, Plus. if you're trying to find people um, or you're trying to find hashtags, so I'm going to have a list so you don't really have to do it. But if you're trying to find people or hashtags or things to use, they give you this handy dandy, like, extra thing that tells you um, other things. So you have writers, you have am writing, publishing, interview. So this would work. Um, uh, let's see if my selling fiction is here. I don't think I've used it yet. So, so you, nothing. So don't steal my hashtag, people. <laughs> All right. Um, so hopefully that gives you an idea of why you want to use hashtags. They're amazing. They're very helpful. They can help you. They can help the people who are trying to find you. Um, 
So definitely do that. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.